peaceful kingdom of great magic oh. and saved by the power of the crystal. What's up, you guys? So and Sunday. The military and the people since she made a day at After the Ides of March. Long 18. 2018. Wow. And, uh, you guys know that in 1988, to defend itself, I was Lucis raised a magic 13. Ball. The strength of which comes from the crystal that, itself. Um, the Emperor Palpatine. In some I'm alone, sorry, I mean, the uh, city in last the Mr. Burns the from the, the, the Simpsons. Damn, I'm sorry. I mean, that Gliga slips, I mean, it's not just a crisis. What's his name again? We made the long journey together with his father. Oh, yeah. That red shield dude. Mother, brother, and Ra the Ra's Ra's child. Did you know that in 1988, see, that magazine, The Economist, all the propagandas, he owns that magazine, Mom Black Book Khan Well at least like officially he does. It's technically Lucifer books, right? In the near instant. He just Lucifer 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 of the pink wave <laughs> class. But anyway, did you know in 1988 he gave an interview for the economist and he said that his NWO agenda would be complete fruition, per se, by the year 2018. Yes, sir, that's what he said. Go look it up. 1988 Economist. So, I think it was like around August when I seen that. Please. And I was telling Help everybody, Keep oh, get your stuff, get you, get, get me ready because these fools want to bust it off by the year 2018. The clock is ticking. I mean, I was, because you know, I wasn't saved at that point. So everything had, I was grabbing onto everything, you know, that has, that means that, that means that, but I, I couldn't Luna. interpret 100% sure I got something destroyed, not 100% as a prophet should, and I'm not even saying I'm a prophet, but the Bible does say that a prophet will be correct 100% of the time, and I'm not claiming to be no prophet, you know, so don't be asking me stupid stuff about lottery numbers, dumbasses. Okay, so... Rock child, lizard man, the rock child. He, he said by 2018, it was popping off, and he said that in 1988. All units move to secure the wall. If they yeah, break through, like, we're done. Trump years ago. I just thought that. Turn it around. Yeah. See, I just, I just got getting up and about. And uh, last night, before I went to sleep, I was watching this new Final Fantasy. Well, it's not that new, so apparently it's like 2016. I really like Final Fantasy. And it's got that dude from uh, Breaking Bad, Aaron Paul. And it's got uh, that, you know, Cersei from Game of Thrones, Lena Headey. It is so. Oh, it's got that other dude from. Uh, Tom, who's that? Beto Wolf, you know, played the dude, I don't know his name, but he's real cool, I like him a lot. So, I only, I only, I'm gonna make this little guy, that version, that version, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna make it real quick, because I, I thought of something I thought was very important. This is part of the, uh, Psalm 23 1. You can see it in the back if you look closer. Psalm 23 1. The Lord is my shepherd. What does it say? I shall not want. Okay, because let me tell you what happened. About two months ago, 
I started noticing on my pants. I had this like white stripes on my Puma pants. And it was turning black. Real black. And I washed it and it didn't come out. I was like, what is going on? And I noticed on my chair, because it's not real leather. I bought the chair with that fake leather to it. It's called the PU protein protein leather. That stuff. It started peeling off. And right under it, it was making ink go into my pants. So I was like, damn man, I can't have this because all my pants, a lot of them is pumas with the stripe. And the Adidas with the stripe. So I was like, alright, alright, so I'm gonna have to basically spend my 250 next month on a dang chair. And this sucker cost me like 230 like two years ago. That's a good chair. But, you know, it's time. I get it, so I bought some looking, blah, 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 looking. I see these new gaming chairs I didn't even know about. They're real pretty with the wing shapes and, you know, one of them was even called the Cougar. It had a nice cat emblem, and there was one called, like, the Cougar S Armor. And I loved it. And I was like, I'm getting it. But then it was like 350 on Amazon. But then I went to New Egg, and it was like 279 And I was like, damn it, man. It's like 30 bucks. I just almost had it. But then, God was like, he just went. Bam! And put a break in my brain. He was like, man, you got this really cool. Um, it's like, uh, material that, that people sew stuff out of. Material you buy by the yard. I bought this, I bought this back in 2001 in California. Looks like that, these really cool cats. And it was leopards, but they were so small. Like baby leopards, but it was obviously it was adult. I don't know, it's weird, but it was real nice. What is this? I can show you. Man, what I do with it? I don't know, but I'm telling you, it's nuts. I'll show you another time. So, I put that on top of it. And I tucked it in, because you could tuck it in, and it worked great. I even super glued some spots, so it didn't even like shift or nothing. It was real nice. And I put my hair, sheepskin rug, you can see the sheepskin rug. I put that on the top, and I was just like, oh man, this is nuts. I'm just like, yeah, this is my throne. This is my throne, and I love it. I'm so grateful. And obviously, I didn't have to pay no $250 monthly allotment on a dang chair, because I just doctored it. So that's what happened, see? Thou shalt not want. And then, it's like, all right. Bam, there's an idea for you. It works out better because I got my cool cat print instead of a, you know, something that someone else designed. Even though the Cooper S Armor chair, gaming chair is nice. I'm just saying. When you put your own little bit of yourself, you know, in there, it's nicer. It feels good. Y'all you know that. I mean, it just feels good to put your own self into something. You know, anybody that built their own house from the ground up will tell you it's like amazing feeling just being in the house because you built it so all right well i'm going to show you this because what happened was that cat print that left the small baby leopards that were really adult leopards it was uh it was it was just that material it wasn't like nuts it wasn't why you know i got this to put on my butt i mean i got my clothes on but sometimes you know Sometimes, I don't know, I might just happen to sit here naked with my butt was on that, um, you know, that, and it was just material, it wasn't like meant to be nuts for your butt. So I was looking on, and I know, see I told you, I got this, this my, my blanket, it's a big queen size, with a nice leopard print, and it's super plush it's called, it's microfiber, it's, it's that kind you touch and you're like, whoa, this, this is velour, you know, and so you touch you like, oh my god, that feels so good, you know, you just feel all comfortable, well, that's what my blanket is, and so, but and it only cost me $22, you know, which is crazy to me, you know, I know some people spend like $200 on comforters that aren't even comfortable, man, crazy, 
pay 20 hours to get the most comfortable thing ever made. Okay. Anyway, okay. so I'm looking for another okay. one of those, but for my chair, you know. La la I got the party, and then I see it. A really nice design. Really nice, more leopards, you know, because it's just real pretty. And uh, this one wasn't like a super plush, it was a fake down, you know, goose down. So it's got the real soft and set and it goes. <sighs> it's nice, right? Well, I'm just going to show you right now. This is it, this is it. You just frame it, get it ready, try to get so the light and everything. Are right, you ready for this? Here's the unveiling. Here is the unveiling. Yeah, her. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let's take the game to that, y'all. Is that light coming in for you? Let's get a little close up. Can you see that? That's like 2 o'clock. Yeah, there you go. You see that big old leopard right there? Yeah, it's nice, right? Well, like I said, you can see, it encapsulates, see that thing? It encapsulates the whole chair. You can see on the arms. I'll even show you. I'll show you what else, what else I was talking about. You ready for this? I'll show you right here. Just pure as wet. Oh, look, I even still got the cat in it. I was looking for it. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> so fun here. Show you real quick that all tucked in, but it's no problem, I'll just tuck it in again for you. So I ain't got the cat there. So the cat, I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, you just gonna have to take my word because I don't know. Okay, you can maybe see that, right? See that? I want to show you because it's real cool. It's a little, little leopard. See, that's a little leopard. It's a little, little baby. Yes, it is a baby. I always thought, oh, it looks kind of a dog. Nah, it's a little baby leopard. Yeah, it's real nice. Like see him? Can you see that little dude? I can't see the little. Alright, anyway. Oh, no, can you make yeah, this out, really? Is this you like it? Like Stuff like that. Just do this. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, so you can see it. I know you can now. Look at all that pureness. You can see it right there. Peeling. See that? Yeah. You see that big piece right there? It's all peely. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, yeah. Right on my butt. That's no good. So, I, I was, was looking for a new chair. And the first thing I did was I, I was like, got to put this in my head. Oh, you can see it good now? Look at little leopards, man. See them? Pretty nice, right? I had this since 2001. I bought it in 2001, California. Stuff it in the drawer. I mean, 17 years. It's sitting in the drawer because I was gonna. I mean, I'm no tailor. I was gonna try to make something with it. That's 2001. I'm no tailor. In fact, I was just telling you I'm looking for a tailor to make my cotton and linen months on all the tracks. So, and then, you know, that's all. That's, that was my point, you know? It's like, so something, something in, in you, uh, something in your, uh, house breaks down, you know, or you need something, you know, because you just, uh, you know, you don't necessarily want to spend, um, a lot of your money, whatever, or even just the fact that, just the fact that, it's nice. It's nice to um put your little bit of yourself in something. That's I mean that's probably the biggest reason, right? Forget about the money part of it. I mean, what's money anyway? But the fact that you instead of just ordering someone else's design, you know, you just you made it your own little thing, you know? That's good, huh? See it right there? I'm even gonna try it without my, uh... I'm gonna try it without my, uh... Ram skin and see how it feels. Cause I'm sure it's gonna just feel... It's gonna feel nice, you know? 
I mean, you might think why he even got the lambskin because you know he got all them clothes on and well, I'm telling you sometimes I just chill with my nakedness you know my birthday suit as they said so anyways that's it like I said I'm getting into this Final Fantasy so I have to say goodbye you know what I'm saying it's our 15 minute long anyway so I'm gonna have to trim that sucker up anyway. Alright, y'all. Take care. I'll get at you later, alright? So just be patient. This is Charlie, Popoki, Catamount. Signing out. It's another episode of The Thou Shall Not Walk, Psalm 23 1 Chronicles. Hope you learned something.